So I figured we would just see how big you are. You get so big. You get so big. Yeah, you just love me so much. I hope you don't like eat poop and then lick my face with that. We're gonna we're gonna test your weight out, man. Hold on. Stay. Woof woof. One seventy two point five. Come here, dude. Oh, damn it. Here we go. Two ten. So two ten minus one seventy two point five. Divide by three, carry the four, uh, second derivative. 37 and a half pounds, dude! 37 and a half pounds, dude! You're 37 and a half pounds, dude! You're getting so big, dude! Right, dude, you ready to go to the groomer, man? You ready to get all fluffy and clean and get your your, your wiener hair all trimmed? Yeah, I love when that happens to me too, man. Hey, I wonder what you're gonna look like. Let's see. Whoa, dude, you look so good. You're so fluffy, man. Oh, and they're gonna give you a bandana? All right, well, I can't wait to pick you up. See you soon, man. Yeah, you're gonna look super cool. All right, I'll pick you up in a little bit. See you later, dude. Look at all the water. Look at all the water. I feel like Jason Derulo. You know, like, come on, take a sip. If you're thirsty. Swalla la la. That's what he's talking about, right? Water. Swalla la la. Stay hydrated. Water. Drink. No! Did you get that? Yeah. No! This wind really blows. No! Gotcha, man. Yeah, teamwork, man. It's a dream work. Here at Everford Apparel, your boy Maxi is a man of many jobs. Whether it's taking out the recycling, packing orders, or designing clothes, I'm gonna make sure that everything gets done. Now, really, I gotta take about a bunch of trash. Uh, very busy day, leaving for Australia in like four hours. Yep. Like four hours, right? Yep. It's just you and me, 17 hour flight. We Can't get there, wait. Get there on wait. Friday, expo Saturday, Sunday, leave on Monday. Can't wait. Sounds like a relaxing, fun weekend, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, we'll see you on the plane. Let's spin there. <laughs> Transitions are so cool, right? <sighs> All right, so for dinner, Christian is just like going above and beyond with this prep thing, man. Hold up, look. Hey, look at this. Oh, uh, yeah. Lean chicken. Look at this for later. Straight salad, bro. Who are you? Christian uh, even, this man brought prepped meals for the plane. Yeah. I've seen him like diet down like, three, four times, never done that. Especially this far out. I'm over here being a fatty McFat fat. I gotta get strong though. You're dedicated, man, I like it, dude. Thanks, bro. Hey, we made it! Hey. 18 hours later, yeah. how'd you sleep? So great, bro. Yeah, no. if you uh, sleep 18 hours on a plane, it's not fun. It's not a good time. Your eyes on me. How about we do just like we do? Two crazy just breaking free. All 
right, so finally made it to the hotel. First thing I did when I got here was take a shower because I haven't cleansed my body, cleansed my mouth, brushed my teeth in 18 plus hours. Oh my gosh, you're so disgusting, I know. But outfit for the expo, hype shoes, deadlift shoes, you decide. Quick little tour of the room, king size bed, that's where all the magic is not gonna be made. TV for watching TV, window for looking outside, couch for doing couch things, and of course, the bathroom for doing bathroom things. Wow, Max, you should be on like a like a home tour show. I know, guys, but we don't have time for that right now. We got to go find Christian and go to the expo. Yo, dude. Yo. Yo I'm not going to lie. My room is way cooler than yours. What are you doing? Sick. Game of Thrones. Training some strength. Oh, you playing RuneScape? Yeah, right here where I'm training. Right? Man, you're such a multi multitasker. And, and doing my fucking text, text emails. Text Chris emails? Chris on your channel? Right, yeah, right. you can say whatever you want, man. Yeah. Say, say another dirty word. Shit, bitch, fuck. Ball. Damn, Damn. dude. <laughs> what, Game of Thrones just like, you shall not. I'm going to defend my honor, battle you on the land. Then I'm going to get my dragon. He's going to take a big right. poop on your face. There's naked girls every other, every other scene. I swear. There's naked girls? Every other scene. What? Are there naked guys? Yeah. That's why you like it. All right, we got to go to Expo, bro. Let's go. Man, why are you in your underwear, dude? I said, what's up? You never answered. What is that supposed to mean? Good morning, guys. Currently 5.51 in the morning here in Australia, mate. And we are headed to the gym because we don't have time to sleep because we have to get our workout out and we have to grind 24-7. Nah, we just we're jet lagged. Yeah, in actuality, <laughs> we, we both woke up at like 3 a.m. <laughs> text each other like, you up? <laughs> like, yeah, we tried to go to the gym around 4. It uh, doesn't open until 6, so we're going to go crush this. Long day. It's going to be a long day today. Expo. <laughs> and then we might go out tonight. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to squat like 380 pounds this morning. <laughs> Sick. Before any good leg day, there's a good set of stairs. <laughs> really just gets you amped up. Are they even open? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Help. Trying to make some gains. So apparently staffed hours are only during the week. Uh, sick. Sick. It's a really good thing that I brought my, uh, my belt, my knee sleeves, and my powerlifting shoes to all the way across the globe. Because uh, <laughs> couldn't even use them. No gyms are open. Don't have time. Gonna just go to the hotel gym. You have 50 pound dumbbells, bro. Powerlifter, man. Yeah. It's the life of powerlifter. It be so sick. All right, so we're gonna work with what we got, and what we got is this hack machine that you have to start super low in order to have any sort of depth. I'm using my knee sleeves. Oh, on the machine. You got the whole stack on there. We were supposed to squat 380, but instead, the machine squatting 200, you know? Oh, that's all right. Uh, a thousand kg on there. You're a monster. I think that's 100, dude. Oh, nah. So, we're just gonna do a little higher reps. Not ideal for my, my training, but sometimes you gotta work with what you got. And then it's gonna, sick. All right, so again, Supposed to do deadlifts this weekend, supposed to do squats this weekend, supposed to do bench press this weekend. It's not always gonna work out uh, how you want. Yesterday we tried to go uh, to a commercial gym where they had generic bar, no chalk. I've flown for like 18 hours, went straight to an expo, spent a bunch of energy uh, and time there, and then trying to hit your numbers on uh, powerlifting prep when you don't have you know, all the things you'd like. 
kind of got to work with what you have rather than what you'd like. It's hard to get something in. <sighs> How many reps are you doing? Like 12, 15. Because at the end of the day, Christian, I try to fit fitness into my life, not my life into fitness, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Priority this weekend, meeting people. Memories over macros. <laughs> I should put that on shirt, man. We got a lot of shirts in <laughs> dude. And I kind of factored this trip into my training when I was planning for this powerlifting or deadlift event because I knew that this was coming up like three weeks before I'm supposed to hit a PR on deadlifts and I don't think it's gonna affect it that much. Luckily my main first uh, squat bench deadlift I already got out of the way before I traveled but you know, I just try to do my best. Like I've said a bunch over the time that like my progress with my powerlifting or pretty much any sort of fitness goals would be drastically different if I revolved everything just around hitting those goals. But life happens, relationships happen, things happen, friends happen, travel happens. And uh, we're gonna be lifting for a long, long time. Hopefully, we're gonna hopefully all be in good health uh, for the duration of our time on this little planet. So don't sweat the little stuff. Think about the big picture. Stay healthy, stay fit. And then you can get a golden doodle. That's, that's my, my big tips in life. I think everyone in this hotel gym is pretty inspired, bro. Honestly, I would. <laughs> I would be. They should follow my channel, bro. They're like, wait, you have a fitness channel? You skinny me? Big day today at Expo, so we're carbon up, we're fueling up. Now, the difference between Christian and myself is he got like egg white omelet, no oil and stuff. I got little mini donuts, uh, pancakes, waffles, eggs, scissor, fruit, turkey, cereal, whole milk, because Again, trying to get as strong as possible those power to meet. We're gonna go in. I mean, we're still drastically underweight. Like, I'm, I'm at the 181 weight class and I'm only like 172. So, the more food that I can eat before this meet, the strongest that I'm gonna be at the meet. And then afterwards, I'm gonna cut down and then you'll see like a little baby diet. Uh, the mini cut season three coming where I'll, I'll track my calories again for about seven weeks because everyone else is gonna be super shredded. I wanna be super shredded. It's gonna be a good time, but. When I travel for the expos, like it's hard to get like all my proper nutrition. You think coming to a fitness expo with like a supplement company where you have protein, you think you'd hit a protein every day. You just don't because I don't want to eat protein bars and just protein powder the entire day. And then you know if I'm at the expo for like six hours, then I obviously am not getting good meals. My energy's low. My energy's all over the place. So it's all about kind of like finding balance and finding out what works best for you and like working with your surroundings. So with training, you have to adapt. With the nutrition, you have to adapt. Uh, my best advice is when you travel, just don't overstress it and just work with what you have. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, it ain't that serious. What is, you know, Christian's all in actual prep. What's your. Uh... I, I was about to steal what you just said about not overstressing it. You can't overstress it. If you do, you're just going you're to psych yourself out. Yeah, like, like obviously, you're, you're not going to hit your macros perfectly. Nope. Because you said, hey, just put a little bit of oil, but they probably were like, I'm going to make it the exact same I always and do. And I didn't even watch him do it, so he probably just. Yeah, he's know. probably like, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely make a little bit of oil. What's your, like, uh, traveling pro tip if you're dieting? If you can't, like, prep your meals, you don't yeah. have access um, to, like, your exact food. Just try, I just try, you, like, this is my really the only carb meal I'm going to have. Pretty much the rest of the day will be, like, high protein, lower carb options. Uh, just so it kind of simplifies things. I kind of just cut my cut a lot of carbs when I'm just estimating because it keeps it simple. So. And like a couple days, like this weekend off track's not gonna ruin your entire Hell diet. No, not at all. A lot of people think it will. No, it won't. but it won't. It won't. A couple it's, days isn't gonna ruin your diet. A couple days isn't gonna ruin your training. But you know what will ruin your food? Doing really long vlog clips when your milk is getting uh, warm and your food is getting cold. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My computer, I got a brand new razor and for some reason I'm having trouble editing. So if this went up late, I apologize. But you know, I'm doing the best that I can, man. I want to eat this. Man, shit. Yeah. I'm gonna get a couple more of those. Smash the thumbs up button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.